Welcome to Dependable Flame, where we explore vintage petrol lighters, ashtrays, tobacchiana, and other useful mechanisms. Make yourself at home. Today we have a vintage Warco flip top petrol lighter advertising exactly, I'm not sure what. I believe it's a company called Lyco. Maybe a cutlery company or knife company of some kind. I found this same name on a shoe shine kit as a company that had made it. Perhaps a company that made knives, other implements, tools. There is a lot going on on the image depicted on this lighter. First of all, the potato looks extremely sad, which I can't say that I blame him. If I was being peeled, I probably wouldn't be very happy either. It is kind of puzzling to me why the potato is wearing a chef's hat. The lighter is in very good condition. You can see the fuel has spilled over and you can see wet spots in places. And you're going to see some vapor lock here as we attempt to light the lighter. But our friend Migorang last week in the OTLS Facebook group posted some Zippo instructions from way back when where it told you if you had vapor lock to... I can't remember now. It, it actually stated it wrong as opposed to the illustration that was included in the pamphlet. And one of the other gentlemen there in the group pointed that out. But when this lighter was suffering from vapor lock, you'll see the repair video for this lighter later. And it's really acting up in that video. But by the time I got around to making this one and going to light it and seeing how severely vapor locked it was, and I thought, why not? Let's try to run the lighter up real quick, which should flood it with air, and then bring it back down. And Well, I'm bringing it back down to get it in view of the camera. And sure enough, work like a charm you'll see me do it again here and then i believe by the time we're done it's operating just fine i did not realize that the knife handle had a brand in it until i was already recording the video so i did focus on it for a good while here and could not read it until i got done making the video and took a picture and zoomed in i still had some trouble you can see where that synthetic, it's sort of paper combined with plastic, makes up the advertisement. And it is damaged a little bit, as is the, see me run that up, and then right there it lights right up. There is also some corrosion, plating loss, similar to the wholesale produce lighter that we had a while back. Maybe the adhesive that is used to hold that plastic or vinyl or whatever that material is made out of, maybe that adhesive is corrosive or caustic to the plated surface. The felt pad is broken right there from underneath where the it meets on both sides underneath the fill screw and that didn't happen until I went to make the video to repair it when I got ready to pull the flint spring screw and clear that flint tube I went to pull the pad out and you can see now it's coming apart there as well but when I went to pull it out so that I didn't get it all dirty with dust and debris from the old flint, it came apart on me. So that's all right. I did not intend when I was making the repair video to 
fuel it and light it in the first place. I got distracted, so I'm glad I did. It made for a much more interesting video in both cases, I believe. And it's a really good lighter. You can see it's has good spark, and once you deal with the vapor lock, it lights up very reliably. I believe this is the exact copy of a lighter of the Crest Craft that belonged to my dad. Also, the Barlow Slim Dandy. I believe the last one, the Wholesale Produce lighter, it also had this same sort of synthetic advertising on it. And it was labeled Barlow B54. But it does show scuffs, scratches, dings. You can see there is a depression that kind of runs along the top of the lid there. It is marked WARCO, Japan, both in all caps. Simply, not a whole lot going on there. Don't believe there are any markings on the insert. But it is a nice brushed finish on the inside. It's high polish there on the windscreen. As I said, this fits that same pattern of the Barlow Slim Dandy. Get that push back down in there so we don't pinch it between the outside of the insert and the inside of the case as it's sliding back in there we might cause it to be a little bit difficult to get all the way in also these are kind of like a hybrid between a full-size Zippo and a Zippo Slim in that they are pretty much the width and the height of a full-size Zippo but they are more narrow so slimmer um, this way <laughs> from front to back and there you can see that depression that I was talking about I don't think it's a dent I think it's maybe an imperfection in the way that the lid was formed it appears as though the plating is all intact on that portion of the lighter it's got the brush finish on the front and back the high polish then around the spine, top and bottom. It's got a very tight hinge. And very interesting advertising on a Warco Japan flip top petrol lighter. Advertising the Lyco brand and a very sad potato who apparently was also a chef and by some turn of events has uh, it appears as though his tools have turned on him so if you're into old advertising then this might be one that you want to keep an eye out for should be in the store pretty soon until next time